rolling out here on the racetrack now. Going to be an eight-lap main for the Future Stars Nationals B main. And we thank you, folks, for joining us on the Pit Road TV free Facebook feed. Make sure you let us know where you're watching from, who you're pulling for here tonight. Again, Pit Road TV presented by Summit Racing Equipment. Thanks to Summit Racing Equipment, longtime sponsor of the World Karting Association, for presenting your free preview here tonight. We'll be showing you the next free class of free of charge. So comment there on the Facebook. Let us know where you're watching from. Let your folks know at home we're showing these next few free of charge. You can find us on Pit Road TV on Facebook. Thank you, David Lehrer, for tuning in, watching from Fayetteville, North Carolina, here tonight. Again, if you folks like what you see, you can get on over to pitrow.tv, pick yourself up a subscription, watch the rest of the racing action for all three days here at the Daytona Flat Track. Mike Donahue tuning in from Des Moines, Iowa. We've got Columbus, Georgia in the house here. Jason Bush watching us. And on track, green flag in the air. Again, eight laps going to be the distance here for the B-Main. Alexa Elwood in her cart number four, leading the charge down into three and four as the top two have broken out. Elwood leading it, a little jewel in the 2J in second. They stretch it out big time over the rest of the field with just one of eight complete. Now it's Ella Jewel looking for that top spot off of two, about one cart length back. Again, thank you folks for watching us here on the Pit Row TV free preview there on Facebook. Jennifer Bruner watching from Menasha, Wisconsin. Got Crestview, Florida. Thank you, Ralph, for tuning in. Kingsville, Ontario, Canada watching us. Got Rhode Island tuned in. Burlington, North Carolina. Debbie Chadwell watching us from Rose Hill, Virginia. You can let us know who you're pulling for here tonight. Let us know where you're watching from. This is the B main on track for the Future Stars Nationals. Five to seven year old division. Great race still here at the front with three complete coming to halfway this time by. Alexa Elwood has led all of it in her cart number four. Ella Jewell trying to take it away in the 2J as we're halfway. Thank you, David Frog, tuning in from Louisville, Kentucky here tonight. Thank you, Bonnie, up there in New York for tuning in with us on Pit Row TV. Hit that share button for us, if you would. If you're at home watching us on that Facebook feed, hit that share button. I'd like to get as many people tuning in as we possibly can to see what we got going on down here at the Daytona Flat Track. Give you some good action here for the next few classes. Free of charge there on the Facebook feed. Got a good race here coming down to the checkered. Six laps complete. It's going to be a three-part battle up here. Don't count out that 4X of Camden Truitt. Back there in that third spot. Closing the gap down in a big way. Truitt going to look to the outside for second. Going to do it the hard way. Truitt to the second spot. Looks like Jewel under, not under power. And hard contact down the back straightaway as one card. Hard to the back bumper of that cart number two. And we go caution. Thought we were about to get that one to the finish. The 2J of Ella Jewel not under power off of turn number two. And a big lick to the back bumper there puts us constant with five of eight complete. And make sure you mash that share button on Facebook for us if you would. Again, thank you folks for tuning in. Brittany Parsons watching us from Haines City, Florida here tonight. Zach Boger watching from Central PA. And they're back on Pit Road TV. You see the trouble there. You see the 2J not under power and then just gets center punch there midway down the back. And good to see the drivers are okay there. We'll be getting back green with just three laps to go. Bud Denny tuning in with us from Brockport, New York. Thank you, Bud, for watching us here. Josh Lester, Commerce, Georgia in the house. Phoenix City, Alabama tuning in. Thank you, Elizabeth, for watching us here tonight. Chase Carter got us on, Del Mar, Delaware. Good to see you, Chase. 
at upstate New York tuned in, Tennessee. Tuning in again, match that share button for us if you would. We're going to be showing these next three. We may even show the next four for you. See how many shares we can get. We may just keep this thing going. Again, next race on track going to be Junior 2 warm-up. We took top 18 and qualifying to the main event for that one. That's going to be a 15-lapper. Coming up next, you should be making your way to the grid. Thank you, Robert, tuning in, watching us from Ohio here tonight. Got a bunch of upstate New York's watching us here. Thank you, folks, for tuning in. Wish we could send a little bit of this warm weather your way. Hope it gets a little better for you guys up there soon. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of folks here with us this weekend escaped that nasty cold front that hit a lot of the northeast to come down to sunny Daytona, Florida. Had high 60s today, going to be in the 70s next couple days. Can't ask for any better than that at the end of December. If you folks have never been down here with us at the Daytona Flat Track, we'll be doing it here next season, so make sure you check us out. If you got a card at home, you've never come down here and seen us. Expanded to a three-day show this year. Got a lot of good stuff going on, part of the Vega Dirt Series, also part of the Triple Crown Series. Started up there at the Rumble Thanksgiving weekend at Paradise Raceway. We've got leg two here this weekend, and then they'll be crowning those Triple Crown champions. Paradise Raceway in Sellers, South Carolina. That's going to be January 13th and 14th. It's going to be a two-day show this year. Thank you, Jeff Webb, tuning in. Inglewood, Ohio. Michael Latham for Virginia Beach watching us here tonight. Thank you, Beth Hewitt, for watching us. Yep, that's a good one to watch. Two-time pole winner here today, Cole Hewitt. Got some fans tuning in with us here this evening. Got Dana Walker in Alabama pulling for Bryce Overton. Cooper Quick here tonight. Again, thanks to all you guys for tuning in here on the free preview on the Pit Road Facebook presented by the folks at Summit Racing Equipment. All right, that green flag racing. Five laps complete. We've got just three to go. That X4, you saw him make that big move for that second spot on the outside. Now Camden Truitt's there looking for the lead down in turn number three. Alexa Elwood has led this one from the drop of the green. She leads it off at of turn number four now with two to go. The X4 drives it in hard. He's going to cut that lead down in half. Camden Truitt not out of it yet. Half a cart leads back down into turn three. May just be able to get to that bumper. We're going to be coming to the white flag this time by off of turn number four. Change for the third spot. Larson Monaghan up into the mix here. Final time off of turn number two. Here comes the X4 of Truett. Down to the inside for the lead off of turn number two in a last lap pass. And now the battle going to be for second. Truett off into turn number three and four. Trouble for second on back. No issue for the 4X. Camden Truett going to sneak through. There for the B-Main win here tonight with a slick last lap pass there off turn number two. Camden Truitt, Alexa Elwood across for the second spot. It's going to be Larson Monaghan third, Ella Jewel fourth, and Dalen Tuttle across for fifth there at the B-Main for the Future Stars Nationals. Back here on the Facebook feed. 
So am I. And watching that battle for so the win there on the Pit Road TV replay, you saw it. It wasn't really much of a battle there. The 4X just got a great run off of turn two, was able to clear for the lead. It was a mess from second on back there. But great move for the X4. Actually made the battle for the second spot more interesting than that battle for the lead when he took it up on the outside. Did it the hard way. We got Clint Jack tuning in with us here tonight from Port Orange, Florida. Mark Roberts, South Mills, North Carolina, watching us here this evening. Got Edgerton, Ohio in the house. Oswego, New York, watching us. Thank you, Chad. Damon Sensabaugh watching us from Stewart Draft, Virginia, here this evening. Again, if you would, mash that share button for us. Let your folks on your feed know what we got going on down here at the Daytona Flat Track. Let them know they can pick up that subscription at pitrow.tv. We thank all you folks for tuning in, supporting us here. We're going to be showing these next couple classes, maybe next three classes free of charge. 554 people currently tuned in on that free preview. Dale Durham watching us from Madison, North Carolina. Zane Caleb, Ocala, Florida, tuning in. Our next main event coming out here on track, Junior 2 warm-up for an 18-lapper. Correction, a 15-lapper, 18 carts for 15 laps here. We had 28 to make the field here. Took the top 18 from qualifying. Dylan Trost in cart number 505, going to roll off for the top spot here. 18.451 seconds earlier here today in qualifying. Took about half a tenth over the 151 of Bradley Carter. Bradley Carter in the J. Carter logging back cart 151B, going to roll from second. Pennsylvania's Knox Bryant in cart number 18, going to go from third spot. Lawson Bryant from fourth in cart 94. Mechanicsville, Virginia's Brody Bajer. The Bajer cart sales. Avis Electric back cart number two, going to go from fifth. Six through ten, Cowboy Carter, Jake Nolan, Ronnie Hurd, Mason Deacon, and Colton Jordan. From 11th on the grid will be Joseph Sullivan Jr. in card 47. Kyler Bronson from 12th in the 40B. Lane Serrett, Mason Smith, and Jaden Cordell coming from deep in this one. Spot number 15. Aiden Massengill, Sean Farmer just squeaked into this one, rolling off 17th. And Carly Bennett with the final transfer, rolling from the 18th spot. Thank you, Doug Dunaway, tuning in with us from Boiling Springs, South Carolina. Trent McDaniel got us tuned in from Richmond, Virginia here tonight. All right, looking for our first attempt at a green. Black man says it's good. Junior two warm up in the hands of Dylan Trost down into the first set of corners, but not for long. Bradley Carter going to muscle his way to the point. The Jay Carter logging ride, the 151 to the lead. And the Avis Electric Machine to second. Big shuffle there on lap number one as we get it in. Looks like it's going to be clean and green. Carter, Bajor, Cowboy Carter, Pullman, Dylan Trost back to fourth. Lawson Bryant holding on to that fifth spot here early on. Bajor getting a lot of pressure for that second spot there. Cowboy Carter knocking on his back bumper. You got brothers running in that first and third spot. I don't know how much Cowboy's going to help that cart number two. I know he doesn't want to push him up there. I know they want one of those 151s to win this race. Right now, it looks like it's going to be Bradley. He's checking out here early on with three laps complete. Huge advantage with just three of 15 in the books. 1.1 seconds out front of Brody Bajor. And Bajor got his hands full. Younger Carter brother Cowboy there giving him all he can handle there for that second spot. Lawson Bryant fourth, Mason Deacon fifth as Dylan Trost going to lose a couple more spots there. Your pole man continuing to fade back here with four complete. All the way back to 12th spot goes your pole man. And out front leader stays the same. Still Bradley Carter with five of 15 complete. Now 1.6 seconds out front. Thank you, Jared Pike, for tuning in here this evening. It's Petertown, Georgia. Andrew Johnson from Owensboro, Kentucky, watching us. Now Wilton, North Carolina, tuning in. Jess of Maryland. Thank you, Paulie Carmichael, for tuning in with us. Make sure you guys hit that share button here for us. 
We're up to 600 viewers. We got 607 people watching the free preview there at home. You folks out there in the pit area haven't let your folks there at home know yet. Pitrow.tv, Facebook. They can watch these next couple classes free of charge. As long as they mash that share button for us. Thank you guys for doing that there at home. Coming up here towards halfway, Bradley Carter now commanding two-second advantage over the rest of them. Next class out, Clone Medium. You should be making your way down into the grid area. Clone Medium. We're looking for 32 carts for that one. Clone Medium. You guys are going to get that one on the free preview, too. That's going to be a great race. 32 carts getting ready to roll out here. But not quite yet. As we got trouble here on track. Been a tough evening for the driver of that cart number 25, Aiden Massengill. Found himself involved in a few incidents. Like no harm, no foul there. He'll be able to rejoin in that cart 25. Shaking the front end out, making sure it's going to be okay to rejoin the field here. Again, caution with 7 of 15 complete. Clone Medium should be making your way to the grid area. You're our next main event on track. Clone Medium looking for 32 carts and drivers down here. Up past 650 viewers now. Thank you guys for mashing that share button on Facebook. Got Mike in Mount Airy, North Carolina tuned in. CJ Mize watches from Blythe, Georgia here tonight. All right, again, we're up just over 650 viewers on the free preview there. Thanks to all you folks for tuning in there at home. Make sure you hit that share button for us. I'm making 671 viewers. We got Clone Medium coming out next. We know you guys like to see that one. Keep on mashing that share button for us. We can get it up to 800. We might just show you another one. Creeping up here towards 700 viewers on the free preview. We thank you guys so much for tuning in here with us. Make sure you head to pitrow.tv. Get that subscription if you haven't already done so. We got Bryce Reinhardt watching us here tonight. A Pittsburgh PA tuned in. Lexington, South Carolina. Jane Roscoe watching us. Got all kinds of people chiming in from Georgia. Mary Brumley from Moultrie, Georgia. Ringo Dale, Douglas, Georgia. Warner Robins, Georgia. Kyle Brinby watching us here tonight. All right, 717 viewers. We'll get this thing up to 800. We'll give you guys another one. Clone Medium getting ready to come out on the racetrack next. We've got eight laps to settle this one here on track, and it's the Carter brothers now in the top two spots. Bradley Carter and Cowboy Carter. The Jay Carter logging back. Dynamic duo going to lead them off a of turn four. They push Brody Bajor now back to third as we're back green flag racing. Bajor with a lot of pressure there for second off a of turn number two. Not able to do anything with it. It's still the Carter brothers first and second. Bradley out front, Cowboy in that second spot. Can anybody do anything with Bradley Carter so far? It hasn't looked like it in this one through eight laps. Bradley Carter down by three cart lanes off of turn number two as Bajor continues to fade there in that third spot. Under pressure from Mason Deacon now. It's Deacon in the 74 trying to work his way up to a podium spot here. Colton Jordan runs fifth. Ronnie Hurd up into sixth spot in the 100. Coming down to a battle between the Carter brothers here tonight to settle it in junior two warm-up. Going to be 10 laps complete. Going to be five laps to go when they get there. And a bumper from Cowboy to the back bumper of Bradley. I don't think Cowboy's going to be content to ride there in second if he can get up here and score the win. 
I know their dad Josh is hanging off the fence somewhere around here, wondering what's going to happen here in these last couple laps. Cowboy to the bumper again, not able to budge his brother. The J. Carter logging machines leading them down through turn number three and four. Now with 12 laps complete, we've got three to go. Slow traffic ahead for your leaders. Down into turn number three. This may cost them. Carter way down to the inside trying to clear slow traffic. We've got one around off of turn four. That's going to put us under the yellow. Card stalled right down here at the start finish line. Be the 18 involved down here right at the start finish. Knox Bryant. Rolling to a stop here. Young man out of Pennsylvania has had some solid qualifying efforts here today. Still looking to put together a main event here tonight as he'll get the 18 rolling here once again. Be getting back to green with four laps to go. Thank you, Steph, Kevin Crest from tuning in Terre Haute, Indiana here tonight. Haley Elowine watching us. David Lyon tuned in, Lottsville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, make sure you mash that share button for us. We appreciate it. Almost up to 900 here. 883. See if we can get this thing up to 1,000. We got clone medium coming out next. If we can get this thing up to 1,000, I think I can talk Tony Stevens into showing one more. I'm sure I can. Mash that share button for us. Kevin Hurley tuned in with us here this evening from Gray Court, South Carolina. Cornwall, Ontario, Canada, watching us. Thank you, Rick David, for tuning in here this evening. Tim Bailey tuning in from Stanton, Michigan. Hey, Stephanie Vance, thank you for tuning in here tonight. Kevin Risley, Collinsville, Oklahoma, watching us. Again, this free preview presented by the folks at Summit Racing Equipment. All your race and equipment needs. Official sponsor here for the World Karting Association and the free preview here tonight. Thanks to the folks at Summit Racing Equipment as we're back green flag racing. Less than four laps to go. The Carter brothers still leading it off a of turn two down the back. That caution brought Brody Major back to him, though, within striking distance for the lead. It's going to be three to go when they get here this time by. Cowboy giving his brother all he can handle. Roots him off into turn one and two. Tries to move him up the hill. Here comes Brody Major with help from Mason Deacon. It's four cards under a blanket now. Going to be two to go for the win when they come here off of turn number four. Can anybody move the 151 of Bradley Carter? His brother closest. How hard will he run him? That's how hard. Jacks up the back bumper in one and two once again. Tries to move him. Still can't get there. Brantley throws a block on Cowboy. Cowboy dives down to the inside. Can't get there in three. Bradley lead him off a of turn number four. The Jay Carter logging card. One and two to the white flag. Cowboy, one more shot in a turn number one. Moves him up the hill off a of turn number two, but he can't get there to the inside. The battle's going to be for second. It's going to be Bradley Carter taking him down through turn number three and four. He'll score this one wire to wire in junior two warm up. Bradley Carter for the win. His brother Cowboy across for second. What a run for the Carter boys. The Jay Carter logging duo going to do it to him there in junior two warm up. Bradley for the win. Cowboy for second. Rest of the top five Brody Major, Mason Deacon, and Colton Jordan. Tyler Bronson came across six. Stuart, Sean Farmer, Lawson Bryant, Ronnie Hurd, and Jaden Cordell for the rest of the top ten. Again, this free preview at home here on Pit Road TV presented by the folks at Summit Racing Equipment. Thanks to those folks for longtime support of the World Karting Association. Everything we do here for the National Dirt Series. And Clone Medium getting ready to come out on the racetrack next. You folks have done it for us. We're about 20 away. I know we can get this thing to 1,000. We got 979 people watching us at home on Facebook. Thanks to each and every one of them. I know we will get at least one more main event in for you here. 
clone medium getting ready to roll out 32 carts strong here this evening. Now Valerie Weir watching us from Lincolnton, Georgia here tonight. Yeah, I remember you, Alan Gordon, 1997 Junior 2 National Champion tuning in with us here this evening. Got some Carter fans in the house here. We're mighty excited about that last race. I thought it might get a little more interesting than it did there at the end. Cowboy didn't, he didn't let his brother have it easy there. And he shouldn't have, but a great race there for both of those. Both those drivers able to score a 1-2 finish. Not in the warm-up class. They'll be coming out here later for the Junior 2 National Division. Again, if you do not have your preview, your subscription for pitrow.tv, make sure you head on over to their website, pick that up. You can watch all the racing action here tonight, everything we're doing tomorrow, as well as the Friday show. Also catch the Rumble in Fort Wayne being shown on Pit Row TV. Yet another season coming up, I believe, January the, first, the 31st, if I'm not mistaken on that, up there in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And thank you folks for matching that share button at home on Facebook. See if we can get a few more in here. We'd love to see 1,000 on here. We were up past 900 a minute ago. I know they'll be piling back in when we get clone medium rolling out here on the racetrack this should be a great race here 32 carts strong getting ready to hit the racetrack here junior three warm-up you need to get your carts ready you're going to be our next main event now on track junior three warm-up let's get them ready you can start making your way towards the grid area Thank you, Brandon Reeves, tuning in from Jasper, Georgia, here this evening. We've got Doug Russell watching us from Kentucky. And you guys tuning in there on the free preview presented by Summit Racing Equipment. Make sure you match that share button for us here tonight on Facebook. We'd appreciate it. Well, we got Clone Media being shown free of charge. If we see a thousand, we'll give you another one. We'll get you that Junior 3 race as well. Let's get that thing up to 1,000. we got 830 of you watching here right now. Maysville, Kentucky tuning in. Villarica, Georgia. Williston, Florida tuning in. Thank you, Chris Pierce, for watching us tonight. Friends with Georgia tuning in. We've got a Jeff Wells fan tuned in from Deering, Georgia. Thank you, Alicia, for watching us here tonight. Stevie McDaniel tuned in from Richmond, VA, watching us this evening. Jeff DeBerry, Harnsburg, Kentucky. All right, getting ready to go here. Clone Medium, Lancaster, South Carolina's Jamie Knopf. The L.A. Motorsports Pete Magic Tire Prep back cart number 48 going to go from the top spot. Joseph Mintz in the 145 with a great qualifying effort in this one going to go from second. Daniel Armstrong, the big red machine, cart number 96 going to go from third. It'll be Jason Scruggs from fourth in the 52 and Cole Fireball Johnson rolling from fifth in cart 16. Six through 10 on the grid. Andy McGrogano, cart number 94. Chase Lane in the 151. Austin Yarbrough in the 127 looking for his second win here this evening. It'll be Austin Hill out of Florida in the 15-H from ninth, and Chase Williamson out of South Carolina. A little excitement. Cart number 40 going to roll from the 10th spot. Looking for our first attempt at a green clone medium off a of turn number three and four. Jamie Knopf leading the charge. Down to the stripe. Flagman says it's good. We're underway for our first attempt. Knopf flies it off a of turn number two. Jamie Knopf in trouble. You're top to a round up here at the front of the field. Lucky that wasn't huge. And I don't think there was any contact there for the 48, just not the grip level Jamie Knopf was expecting when he got down there to turn one. Very fortunate he didn't wad that one up in a big way. And that's something you don't see from Jamie Knopf there very often, all on his own. And around he went there. So no laps complete. 
And you'll see it there at home on Pit Road TV. Yep, Knopf just takes it sideways. Actually, your top two carts go around down there in turn two. But being that that was our first attempt, those guys will get their starting spots back. But we'll rack them, stack them, try them again here. Where you at, Tony Stevens? We got 1,100 people watching us here at home. 1.1K. Thank you guys for mashing that share button here for us. Thank you, Ryan Patrick, for watching us here tonight. Scotty Arnold Motorsports from Dallas, Georgia, watching us here this evening. All right, we're getting this thing sorted back out here. Going to be... Our second attempt at a start. Again, it's going to be Jamie Knopf and Joseph Vince bringing them from the front of the field. Green back out. Knopf again going to slide off a of turn number two. Daniel Armstrong looking for the lead down the back straightaway. Up a spot early to second as Joseph Vince getting shuffled at that 145 here early. They'll keep them straight off a of turn number four and we'll get our first lap of the book. One of 15 complete. Here in clone medium. Again, a big slide for Knopf off of turn number two. Armstrong right there with him. But by the end of the straightaway, Knopf able to leg it out on him once again. They have checked out for the rest of the field. Just two laps complete. Knopf, Armstrong, Cole Johnson, Jason Scruggs, and Joseph Mintz has found his way back down in line in that fifth spot. But it's a long ways up to these top two. Putting it to him here, 1.4 seconds back to the rest of the field. And now the battle's going to be for the top spot. Armstrong and that big red machine starting to hunt down to the back bumper of that 48. He's running clean so far. He can see how sideways that 48 is by himself. I know he'd like to get a clean pass on him here. Getting off a of turn number four. Catching him one thing. Getting around him something else. Armstrong just found that out. Caught him at a bad spot. Again, Knopf going to now back up the corner. He can feel the pressure. He knows where he's weak. I don't know if he knows who's there in second, but he knows they're knocking on the door hard. Here they come off a of turn four, clicking down five complete now. Half a straightaway advantage for your top two over third place man Cole Johnson. Mover of the race, Lake City, South Carolina's Chase Williamson. He started 10th. He's up to fourth and looking for more to the back bumper of Cole Johnson here for that third spot. Good battle up here at the front, and for third, it's not going to be a battle for long. Williamson to the inside. Clears him with ease off a of turn number two. And if anybody's looking for a caution in this one, I know it's a driver of that cart number 40. He may just have the fastest cart in this one. Started way back in the field, has worked his way all the way to third. Again for the lead, Daniel Armstrong looking to the inside of Jamie Knopf. He gets a wheel down there to the inside. Knopf going to have to let him go in turn three, and we'll have a new leader. The big red machine to the halfway point with eight down, seven to go. Daniel Armstrong now out front of Jamie Knopf. Thank you folks so much at home for hitting that share button, matching that share button for us there. 1.2K viewers here tonight. Thanks to the folks at Summit Racing Equipment for making it happen for us here this evening. Out front, Daniel Armstrong. You see him there on your pit road TV screen. The Todd Miller Racing Engine back machine. Leading it and pulling away now. Laying down the quickest lap of the race. 1.2 seconds out front. Jamie Knopf in second. Another mover, Chase Lane in the 151. Chase Lane just laid down the fast lap of this race at a 17.737 on the watch. But the laps are winding down. We've got 11 complete. We've got less than four to go. Battle for the third spot starting to heat up now. Chase Lane to the back bumper of Chase Williamson as they're going to roll up on slower traffic here off of turn number four. Armstrong continuing to stretch that margin. Now 1.9 seconds out front. The driver out of Davidson, North Carolina, driving the Todd Miller back machine now with two to go. Started in your third spot in this one. He rode the back bumper of Jamie Knopf just as long as he needed. Waited for Knopf to make a slip. 
And from there, he has put half a straightaway on the field. Daniel Armstrong off a of turn number four. Going to see the white flag this time by. In your 32 card stock medium, clone medium main event here tonight. Nobody's going to get to the back bumper of that 96. Armstrong smooth sailing down through the final set of corners. Going to see checker flag in the air from black man Jerry Strickland. Daniel Armstrong going to take the clone medium win in convincing style there over second place Jamie Knopf. Chase Williamson from 10th on the grid brings it home third. Chase Lane and Fireball Cole Johnson going to be the rest of the top five. Six through 10, Stephen Adams, Joseph Fence, Michael Trockey, Ryan Joyner, and Austin Hill. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, telling your folks at home to tune in. Watch us on the Pit Road TV feed on Facebook. We got 1,200 people watching that last main event coming to the checker there. At Jones County, Georgia, tuning in. Tim Chastain watching us here this evening. Crawfordsville, Indiana. Watching us here tonight. All right, Junior 3, you need to be down here in the grid ready for your main event. Junior 3 warm-up. We're looking for top 18 from qualifying to the main. Junior 3 warm-up. You're next out. So we said we get that thing to a thousand, and we're gonna show you another one. So we're gonna keep the free preview going for one more class. Junior three warm up, getting ready to come out here should be a good race for our 12 to 15 year old division. Getting ready to go for a 15 lapper warm up for their national main event coming up later on this evening that you can catch on Pit Row TV subscription if you don't already have it. In 24.95 monthly, you can cancel that anytime. You get all the live stuff they do, all the archive footage. They cover the cars tour. Popular late model series up there in the Carolinas. Going to be up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, just a couple days from now, covering the Rumble in Fort Wayne. They also do all the Thanksgiving coverage, cover the show out there in Batesville, Mississippi, as well as the annual Thanksgiving Rumble at Paradise Raceway. Tony, Alabama. Thank you, Trey Hunt, for tuning in, watching us here tonight. Thank you, Shane Barrett, for watching us here this evening. He's throwing some rags around here in his time. Shane Barrett watching us here tonight. Walter Tapp, Greenville, South Carolina, tuned in. East Bend, North Carolina, watching us here tonight. Again, we're going to roll this next class for you free of charge on the Pit Road TV Facebook. If you got some folks at home that want, might like to see this Junior 3 race not already tuned in, let them know we are showing one more live free of charge. Thanks to the folks at pitrow.tv, presented by Summit Racing Equipment. And while we're rolling that next class out here, Junior 3 warm-up, we want to once again thank our event sponsor here for the Daytona Flat Track for the Dirt World Championships for 2022, Matt Connell with MC Motorsports, our official event sponsor here for the week for Cart Week 2022. Also, thanks to the folks at PMP Speed Shop, Jay Carter Logging and Artie with a big win here tonight. There are two young drivers taking that 1-2 finish there just a couple classes ago. Thanks to the folks at Avis Electric Company. Also, Air Mechanical, Fro Daddy Motorsports, The Chop Shop, Scott Buff Racing, and Dino Cams. Official event and series sponsors here for the WK Dirt Series. All right, we'll show you guys one more here on the free preview on the Pit Road TV Facebook. Never too late to mash that share button for us. We'll be 15 laps coming at you here for Junior three warm up. Cole Heward, pair of pole positions here today for the 29, starts out front of this one. Brayson Riddle, cart 96 from second. Cooper quick in the 34C. He's got some fans tuned in right now. He rolls from third spot. Cameron Lambert out of Gaffney, South Carolina. The chop shot back to cart number 41 from fourth. And Mason Deacon going to roll from fifth. 
six through ten. Brody Bajer, Brody Lameo, Bradley Carter, Braden Parsley, and A.J. Nichols. Again, we took top 18 from qualifying for this one. And nope, we're not going to go this time. We got trouble here at the back. No go on the start. Unlimited All-Stars, you need to get your carts ready. You're our next main event on track. Again, this will be the last one on the free preview there at home on Facebook. If you like them loud, you like them fast, make sure you go over to Pit Road TV, get that subscription, and catch the Unlimited All-Stars main coming out next, as well as the rest of the racing action here tonight. We've got nine classes left to go here this evening. Then a full day of racing here tomorrow, as well as Friday. Thank you folks for tuning in, checking us out here tonight. Still right at 1,000 viewers. Got 972 currently tuned in at home. Got some Brody Bajor fans tuned in. He'll be going from sixth spot here. Good clean start up here at the front. Flag man says it's good. Green flag out for our first attempt here. Off turn number two, Cole Heward. Comfortable advantage in cart number 29. Strong through the first set of corners. Brody Bajor picks up a spot early up into the top five. His field down clean off a of turn number four. One lap complete. One of 15 in the book. Cole Heward, pole man leading it, trying to stretch it out. Brayson Riddle in cart number 96 trying to run him down. Riddle looking pretty decent here in these first couple laps because they've really gotten away from that third, fourth, and fifth place battle. Super quick, Cameron Lambert and Brody Bajer all battling for those spots. Here comes Bradley Carter, fresh out of victory lane, up into the sixth spot and looking for more. A little bit of contact there for that third spot as Cameron Lambert able to muscle around Cooper quick. Still the best battle on track there for spots three through seven. Top two have checked out. Bajor hard to the back bumper there of that 34C. Gets him up and out of the way. And new leader off of turn number four. Brayson Riddle to the point now with four laps complete. Second leader of this race. Now it's Riddle sideways off turn number two. Can Cole Hewer take that top spot back away? Good race up here at the front, coming to five complete this time by. Going to have ten laps to go. Unlimited All-Stars. Unlimited All-Stars. Next main event, need to be making your way into the grid. 20-lapper coming up. Unlimited All-Stars. See, Brayson Riddle checks the left shoulder, checks the right shoulder. He wants to see where that 29 is. He sees he's getting away from him right now. About five, currently is the advantage. Brayson Riddle started second. And second leader of this one as he continues to lead the charge now. Off a of two down the back as he'll check that shoulder again. Three and a half tenths out front of that 29 last time by. We're now 7 of 15 complete. Don't look now. Bradley Carter, he's picked up a couple more into the fourth spot. Bradley Carter, quick lap of the race last time by. 18.570. The Jay Carter logging back to 151 is hunting up into that fourth spot. Started back in eighth. And we got caution. We got trouble here on the racetrack. We got one car stalled up here to the top of turn number one. The 98 of Jenna Leonard finding trouble. Up and out of her 98 machine, it looks like. Robert looks to be okay. I got Mr. Gavin Everett on track crew getting her cranked back up there. 98 will be able to rejoin tail into the field. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. 988 viewers still with us there on the free preview on Pit Road TV. Couldn't do it without the folks at Summit Racing Equipment. Thanks to those folks for stepping up, making this happen here this evening. Thanks to all they do for the World Karting Association Dirt Series. And these free previews here tonight presented by the folks at Summit. 
Getting ready to go back green flag racing here. 7 of 15 laps complete. Racing Riddle, Cole Heward, Cameron Lambert, and this caution has brought Bradley Carter up here into the mix and not going to go this time. Bradley Carter was looking strong, but right before that caution, keep your eyes on the cart there in that fourth spot, looking to go back to victory lane for the second time here this evening. He's got some strong ones there ahead of him to get around. That 151 definitely looked to be the fastest cart on track right before that last caution. Actually laid down the quick lap of the race at 18.570. That was about a tenth and a half better than your top two that last lap before the caution. Unlimited All-Stars. Unlimited All-Stars should be making your way down to the grid area. 20 of them for 20 laps. Unlimited All-Stars. Next on track. Thank you, Mackenzie McGee, tuning in with us here this evening in St. Matthew, South Carolina. Now, PEC tuned in from Sylvester, Georgia with us here this evening. And just past the halfway point here in Junior 3 warm-up. Seven laps complete, actually eight to go in this one. We'll have unlimited all-stars next on track for their 20-lap main, and that will be followed by a clone heavy warm-up. We'll have 34 carts in that one. Clone heavy warm-up, just two classes from now. Again, if you folks do not have your subscription to catch the rest of the race in action here this evening, make sure you head on over to pitrow.tv. We thank you guys that have already done so. Thank you folks for tuning in on the free preview, hitting that share button for us this evening. We'll get this one to the checkered for you there on the free preview. Again, thanks to the folks at Summit Racing Equipment for that. Got eight laps to go in this one when we go back green flag racing. Brayson Riddle, Cole Heward, Cameron Lambert, Bradley Carter, and Brody Bajer. Be up here in the top five when we go back green flag racing. We've got them sorted back out, looking for the green flag here for a restart with seven complete, eight laps to go. Brayson Riddle, second leader of this race, started in the second spot. He'll tow pole man Cole Heward and the rest of the field back off of four. Back to green we go. Cameron Lambert, Bradley Carter, Brody Bajer all there for that third spot. Carter with the pressure to the back bumper. The 41 moves him up a turn number two. It's a drag race down the back. Carter down to the inside. He'll take that third spot in turn three. The Bradley Carter machine picks up another one up into that third spot. He's going to be looking for second to the back bumper of pole man Cole Heward. Heward checks the shoulder, drops it down to the bottom, tries to throw the block into turn number three. Carter runs him clean. Going to cost that 151 some time there with now nine laps complete. Cole Heward shut that door hard that last time into that third corner. Nine in the books. We're going to be coming to five to go this time off of turn four. Unlimited all-stars. You need to make your way down towards the grid. Your main event is next. Bradley Carter once again fastest on track. New quick lap of the race, 18.540. He's reeled that 29 back in for second. Carter not out of it yet. Neither is Cameron Lambert. They're going to make it a four-cart battle for the win here. Cole Heward now trying to run up the back bumper of the leader. Quick, new quick lap of the race, 18.528. The pole man starting to show some speed here late in the going. Cole Heward to a half a cart length from the lead. It's going to be three to go when they get here this time. Cole Heward within striking distance. He'll get to him in turn one. Not able to move him off of turn number two. Riddle drops it down to the bottom side, starts to play defense. Here comes Bradley Carter with a dive for second. Big look to the inside of Heward. Not able to get there into turn number three. Again, that's going to cost him a bunch of time to your leader. 
Now less than two laps to go. Hewer drives it in hard. Cuts that lead back in half. Top three under a blanket. Going to be coming to the white flag this time off a of turn number four. Can Brayson Riddle make it wide for just one more lap? Hewer's going to get to him in turn number one. I thought he was going to drive it in hard and pop that bumper. Runs him clean off of turn number two. He'll have one more shot at him down here in the third and fourth corner. Not going to be able to get to him. It's going to be Brayson Riddle off of turn number four. Riddle going to fight off the rest of the field and score the win in court number 96. It'll be Cole Heward for second. Bradley Carter across for the third spot. Picks up another podium run here tonight. And uh-oh, we got a couple of them into it here. After the checkered flag, Bradley Carter and Cole Heward. I don't think Bradley Carter was too happy about the way the 29 shut the door on him there a few laps ago. I believe he let him know about it there right after the checkered flag. They came across in the second and third spot. We'll have to get a official word from track officials to see what they saw down there. I can tell you Brayson Riddle came across for the win, and the rest of it we'll have to get sorted out for you. Getting ready to come out next, Unlimited All-Stars for their 20-lap main event. Again, thanks to you folks for watching here tonight on Pit Row TV. Thanks to Summit Racing Equipment for making it happen here for us for the free preview. Again, if you folks want to catch the race, the rest racing action here this evening, head on over to pitrow.tv. Pick yourself up a subscription. Thanks to all you folks for watching. Thanks to all you folks for sharing with your friends and your family members, mashing that share button for us. Had 1,100 people watching the end of that race there. And thanks to all you folks so much for the support. Thanks to Summit Racing Equipment and 